Josh with Scout Reviews. And I'm Travis. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. Hey, this is Josh with Scout Reviews. Hey, this is Ed. And uh, today we're, we're trying something a little different. It's tequila, but it's a Cristalino. Now this is from Maestro Doble. It's an extra Añejo. Uh, for those of you that do not know, a Cristalino is any tequila that isn't a Blanco that has been aged, whether it's a Reposado, Añejo, or extra Añejo, that is re-filtered. Oh. It pulls all the barrel out of it and everything else. Okay. I don't really understand the point of it. Um, this bottle has been sitting on the shelf since the show started, uh, but we haven't touched it since before then. So yeah. I don't know with the change in my palate if this will be any good or not now. All right. Now, when I originally bought this, it was like $180 at like Specs or Total Wine, something like that. But now you can find them for, I've seen them 120 to 150 oh. So I know the price has come down. I also know Cristalino is not as popular as it was, say, just a year ago. Okay. So let's find out. So this will be fun to pour, too, because it comes with a big old, right? It's like a, it's a little beaker. If you don't like it, we can chuck that across the room. Sir. So, as before, I'm not a tequila guy. Correct. So I am definitely. So when you remember when you said it comes in clear, yeah, or brown. Right. This is brown. This is brown. This is brown. Doesn't look brown. Not anymore because it's a Cristalino now. Oh, that's what that means. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So. All right. Let's get into it. Oh. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> so on the nose, um, I immediately get the sweet. That's going to be sugar. I get, <laughs> I get, I, there's no agave there at all. No. Um, I mean, maybe a hint, but you really have to. There's no none of the salt. There's uh -huh. nothing that you would normally get from a tequila. Normally get from a good tequila. I even got a little bit of the alcohol flair. You know what I'm talking about? Like yep. nail polish remover, acetone kind of. When I shove my nose in there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, now this is a 40% or 80 proof as t is typical with most tequilas. Um, all right, so I'm not, I'm not looking forward to this after the nose. Uh, you ready to see what it tastes like? You first. All right. Holy moly. Yeah, that's just a uh, sugar bomb followed by something that that's just supposed to taste like tequila. It just burns and it's sweet. Yeah. Like a fake caramel flavor. It is. It yeah. Is. Um, it does not coat the mouth well. It feels gross it is kind of flat like i mean some tequila like the stuff we tried last time this is like a flat alcoholic soda yeah. kind of yeah <laughs> that's exactly yeah that's a good point the sprite tastes closer to tequila oh you know what oh i could definitely see somebody mixing this with sprite <laughs> so i got that acetone yeah just now as it yeah, it <sighs> that that's a no for me. Uh, if I like me and the person that I am, that I don't, I'm a big tequila very often. Mm -hmm. And so, but I do love sugar. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> so, I mean, if I were just to be the first to drink this and go, oh man, that's not too bad. I'd mix it with something. But after the stuff that we tried, you know, last time, yeah, this is just. It's like it's too much. It's too too sweet. So if you don't get I definitely the, feel 
Now, I'm, I'm going to have to check out online, but I'm fairly certain there are additives in this. Yeah. Uh, just because it's got that perfume feel to it. In the it does. Palette. Yeah. Uh, like you would give some of the uh, sparkling waters. Yeah. Um, Actually, yeah, you're on point with that. Because some of the sparkling waters I've had where they add, like, that has sugar in it. Yeah. It has that, that, that kind of texture to the back yep. end of it. So, yeah. not, uh, it's kind of disappointing. Cool bottle. Yes, marketing, packaging's kind of cool. Um, it, if you like sweet tequilas, like, if you like Casamigas, who's that? It's, um, it's a brand that George Clooney was a part of. Oh. And it's one of the more popular tequilas now. Okay. Uh, Wait, and it is very additive heavy and sweet. Is it? So, um, if you like Casamigas, you would probably like this. I can't compare it because I don't like either one. <laughs> um, to me, they're just both bad. Oh, I mean, it's not even sitting on my stomach nice <laughs> either. Oh. Yeah, it, it, there wasn't, in it being. 80 proof because I'm used to drinking stuff in the 100, 120 range. Like it's, it's very weak on that end. Um, Absolutely, it has no. It's it's, it's kind of flat. Flavor is gross yeah. and lacking. Um, all right, well that is that's a quick review from us today on Maestro Doble 50 Cristalino Extra Añejo Tequila. I've had a lot of Extra Añejos tequilas. This is by far the worst. <laughs> I'll so, take your uh, word for it, bro. All right. That's going to do it for me. Uh, make sure, you know, be a good person. Don't drink and drive. All that fun stuff. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, let us know some other tequilas to try. We always like that. And, eat, I mean, if you have information about this, feel free to share it. Because uh, I'm not going to do a lot of research on this one. Yeah, I don't blame you. I, I'll probably put the website there, and that's about it. Um, all right. Well, this is Scout Reviews. I'm Josh. I'm Ed. Have a great one. Take care. Bye.